They're tiny, really tiny, but scientists are hoping they're the solution to a big problem. We think they're probably our best bet. The best bet against an invasive insect that is killing Nova Scotia's hemlock trees. Hemlock woolly adelgid, or HWA, was discovered in the province in 2017. It can move around via birds. That's probably how it got to Nova Scotia. It's rapidly spreading across the province and is now on nearly all of the thousands of hemlocks in Kejimakujik National Park. Little vampires sucking the tree. HWA is on the west coast too, but it's not a problem there because BC is home to this beetle, which eats the invasive insects. So we've established that, that indeed this beetle is, is very important at holding back hemlock woolly adelgid and that therefore it's an ideal candidate for helping control hemlock woolly adelgid elsewhere. So they're literally shaking the predators out of the trees and shipping them across the country. Yep, there's one right there. 3,600 have now arrived in Nova Scotia, leading to this moment, release. It's incredible. I mean, it's a really, really good feeling because, um, yeah, it can feel hopeless. This is the first time this kind of biocontrol has ever been used here in Canada. But these beetles have been used to battle these invasive insects in the United States for more than 20 years. One of them is already eating an HWA. How do you know it's only going to eat what you want it to eat? So that's, that's a very important question. This beetle only develops on HWA. It doesn't develop on anything else. The hope is that the beetles self-replicate to help protect these majestic trees hundreds of years old. Scientists are also treating some with pesticides. If left untreated, they expect 90% of Nova Scotia's hemlocks will die. The question now is whether the beetles can survive an East Coast winter. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, in Kejimakujik National Park.